Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's it, Thanksgiving night. It is. It, our time is Thanksgiving night. And um, we have, I don't know, we have quite a few orders going out tomorrow. And I honestly, I, w I wish I would have thought about this because I might have... Um, I might have either changed the handling or something. Yeah. I, I'm glad I didn't, though, because the income's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so with the revenue's good. So, yeah, he's having a pack order tonight because we are having to go somewhere in the morning. I'm going to be MIA from the shed probably at least a week, I think. I'm having surgery in the morning. And um, it's not like my cancer's not back. It's not that. I'm not going to go into details. I just wanted to let y'all know it's not cancer. It's, it's a fairly common. It's a fairly common surgery. Um, it's not elective either. I'm not getting my nose done or anything. You're not, oh, okay. You're not getting any kind of augmentations? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's like a routine surgery. So um, I think everything's going to be fine. And I should be back. Not full steam in a week, but I'm definitely going to be able to pop my head in here, I think. Yeah, maybe film an opener or something like yeah. that. So there's no there's no rush on, on that kind of timetable because... Uh, you know, it it won't. We won't. The production won't be there, but I can perform all functions. We can uh, tell all kind of poo hole jokes for y'all. Yeah, it it might get a little raunchy in here. <laughs> <laughs> we can Maybe like the old days, huh? Yeah, which you know aren't necessarily better days. They're just old <laughs> days. Sometimes old days are just old days, right? So, long story short, I'm having surgery in the morning, so orders have to get packed up tonight. Right. Yeah, we so, didn't we didn't think about that. You know, like. Okay, today was a holiday, so that increased the number of orders. The which normal, is good. Yeah, which is good. But also, um, more to pack up tonight. So Yeah, that's okay. That was good. I, I was happy to see orders come in. Uh, did have some UPS orders come in, which makes things, you know... I, I don't even have boxes right now. <laughs> so. I know, like you're low on bubble wrap. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, ooh... No, I'm, when I say boxes, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about for, because we did have some UPS orders come in too. Oh yeah, I know, the big stuff. But also, are you going to have to go to Sam's Club on Black Friday weekend <laughs> and get bubble wrap? No, nah, I'll be all right. Uh, that'll do it. Okay. It'll be okay. I might have to go Monday. Yeah. But no, th this will get me through it because uh, there's a lot of stuff that I can um, use bubble wrap or paper. paper. And so the stuff that I can use either, I'll just use a paper. Some sometimes I'll have to use bubble wrap. Right, right. So, so anyway, just wanted to give y'all a heads up, and I will pop back in with a clip uh, telling y'all how Candace did during her surgery because this isn't going to go up until after the surgery. So y'all don't have to stay hanging. We do though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be hanging. You know, it's always a little nerve wracking when um, uh, you know, surgery of any type. Whenever you go under. Uh, okay. It's always a little nerve wracking. So, yeah. I'm nervous a little bit. I know she's gonna do well though. Yeah, I'm gonna so. be fine. Yes, there's no other no other uh, alternative. That's so. right. So, <laughs> I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> okay, and uh, I I am gonna stick around with y'all for just a bit and pull some orders though. Okay, this is six days later. This is Wednesday, the next Wednesday after. Thanksgiving. Uh, Candace's surgery went fine. Every, there were no complications whatsoever. Uh, the only thing she she is very uh, sensitive to anesthesia. It took her a long time to wake up. So um, I think I sat I sat in that recovery room waiting for her to wake up for like over six hours, and then she was fine. I went and got I went and got a, a turkey sandwich. In the cafeteria, I brought it back up, and um, then she started rousing. But it, it took a while. But yeah, everything is everything went fine. Uh, Candace is sitting in the house right now in the recliner with Pippin on her lap, uh, snacking on some Cheez-Its or something, and watching some Netflix or or scrolling Facebook or something like that. So um, she is hurting a little bit. She's recuperating still, but everything went just perfectly. So very thankful for that. Um, it's just a matter of uh, her getting stronger and feeling better and uh, yeah just recuperating so uh, it might be another week or so from now that she comes back but uh, I wanted to let y'all know so I didn't want want people to worry about about the surgery after dropping that on y'all so let's continue with the video all right Candace is getting her last stuff ready before we leave in the morning for the surgery 
I had to edit some video. That's the good thing about working for ourselves, though, is I um, can't work tomorrow, but I could work tonight to cover for the most important parts of working tomorrow. And then we're able to take some time off, and then Candace could take a whole week off. Like, that kind of flexibility is... Uh, it's pretty sweet <laughs> that's that's when it's really like there are a lot of drawbacks to it to you know being self-employed um, especially like insurance uh, is is expensive as as we found out but uh yeah the, the the benefits for us far outweigh the disadvantages so anyway now it's time to pull some orders uh, 79 pocket 79 I think it's on this side no it's on the other one the other 79 it's this right here this little lantern for an action figure sold for 7.99 plus shipping on top went ahead and pulled this comic box down because i'm pulling two comics this is a signed where is it signed at i said it was signed oh it's signed right here uh this is a signed comic book that sold for, I'm not sure <laughs> the amount shown on the screen and then on the same order I'm looking for B30 okay. the reason there's different naming conventions in here is because uh, like a lot of stuff at one point I had like four or five different comic boxes so you'll see B and then here's some K's and then here's some X's <laughs> And then as, as the comics sold and I wasn't really listing more comics, I was able to go, you know, combine boxes, combine boxes again, combine boxes again. And then you end up with something like this. And now we only have one comic box remaining, at least for now. You never know. We could buy, we could buy 20,000 comic books next month. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, this order sold for the amount shown on the screen. And I just listed these the other day. I didn't know exactly what to ask for them. These opera CDs, but it seemed like to me that 48 of them for what a, what we get? 70 bucks? 69.99 uh was a good deal for someone who worth taking a shot anyways before we put it on sale and things like that and they sold actually pretty quickly for 69.99 plus shipping on top and over here on 10 alpha we had somebody this is pretty cool somebody bought both of our samsonite carry-on bags that we had up there which i was thrilled about that and these these bags were like super nice we bought, I think, five carry-ons or so. And then there was a big, a, a really nice big Samsonite suitcase that came with it. We bought it all for $25. And uh, we kept the big one. And then we sold the other five. So that deal worked out pretty well. Went ahead and got hat box A out because we sold a hat. Let's see. I'm looking for a Cleveland Golf Srixen. Guess that's how you say that? Ah, here we go. Cleveland Golf, oh, it says Srixen on the side. This hat sold for $11.24 plus ship. And an alien drawer, this took a little while to sell. Oh, I gotta put those back. <laughs> this took a while to sell, but we had two of them. The other one sold a while back. And then now this one's gone. Little donkey model kit sold for $9.09. Plus shipping on top, and you can see it in there. Nine Bravo, we sold the first of our Fontanini pieces. I'm trying to give, give a little gusto to it. It's hard, though. It's been a long day. <laughs> long day eating and drinking and whatnot. Uh, yeah, this Oasis Pond is the first of the uh, last Fontanini buy we made the other day. $24.99 plus shipping for this. Then in Small's drawer, I need to get one of one Dirk Nowitzki card, rookie card, sold for $6.99 plus ship. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a uh, penny sleeve and top loader now. Okay, I went ahead and pulled these cards. Uh, these are all in the same order 
These are all uh, graded cards, slabbed or whatever you want to call them. Kyle Freeland Chrome Gold Reflector, Refractor, excuse me. A BCCG Gem Mint 10, Larry Walker. And then this is a Glenn Rice, presumably, yeah, it's a rookie card. Uh, I don't even, what is advanced? Advanced grading, AGS graded nine and a half. All right, Bolo drawer named after bolo the monkey right there uh delta 22 i think it was Let me double check when i walk back over there a little digimon with the uh piece of the card back or whatever that is yeah this is right uh this sold for 13.99 plus shipping on top a lot of this is going international and i would say probably about 20 30 percent of the ones we've sold so far have gone international five delta on the right I actually put, I listed this myself and I put, put a 5D-R so I didn't have to make the trip over there and then come back around here again. <laughs> but we sold this sheep shelter for the five inch collection. And uh, yeah, this is a, um, this is a figure by Fontanini. I feel like I'm not doing it right today. I don't I feel off. I, I feel off my game. But this sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. So that's the second Fontanini piece we've sold. Then in chest drawer over here. We sold some kind of, it's called a Mastodon piece. I think it's this right here actually. Uh, this little action figure piece sold for $9.99 plus ship. Then in 10B, right here, W30. This is a little uh, storage spot for these Walmart pens that Candace has listed so far. We have a lot more yet to be listed. But the one I'm pulling now is number 30. This little good job smiley thing. Uh, sold for $9.99 plus ship. Okay, I listed these all separately. But it turns out they all sold on the same order. So it's these uh, Nintendo Power magazines. I think a couple of them have a poster, and one of them comes with a uh, the one with Super Mario 3. Comes with this pack source thing. Comprehensive game pack guide for the NES. And then these two both have posters in them. Total of $49.97. Plus shipping on top for those three. And five Bravo. No, I, I didn't put left or right. Now I'm having to guess. Ah, this is it right here. These oyster coffee mugs. Which these are actually pretty cool. I think what are what is the uh, branding? I think the branding on them is um is it Tabasco? Yeah, I think it's Tabasco. But yeah, these were uh these were new. We, we, we bought them brand new. I think 5 or $10 for these, something like that, we paid. We got $34.99 plus shipping on top for those. Then 10 Charlie, we sold a mixing bowl. Ah, this guy right here. He sold for, I guess it's Pyrex. Oh, no. Fire King Ovenware, made in USA, is what it says on the bottom. Candace could tell you all more about this because I don't know. Uh, this sold for $34.99 plus ship. It does seem like a very nice mixing bowl. And on 9 Delta, we bought... You're all probably tired of hearing me say this, but we bought four of these webcams from a guy uh, who, uh, who does storage units. Uh, four of these brand new sealed, factory sealed webcams. We paid $6 a pop, so we got... We paid $24 for them and then we sold them each for what did we get I gotta scroll up we sold them each for $29.99 uh plus ship so paid 24 sold them total for uh $120 is that right yeah 120 bucks um so we made what 96 before fees and every last one of them every last one so said, uh, well, this one says, please no invoice or packing slip. Thanks. <laughs> they all were drop shipped. Whoops. And then one more thing. 
that is going out today is actually this carpenter's we have a carpenter shop and a carpenter shed the carpenter shop sold i'm going to pull it down in a bit after i pack all of the smaller stuff and uh i am trying to go ahead and get this done so uh, i can get ready and get to bed uh, and go ahead and get this surgery knocked out so uh, I will have already put like an update in this video when I edit it to let y'all know how it went, but I'm really hoping it goes well. So uh, thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all.